Hi, I'm Gisley Lacoze, and this is a diary summarizing my experience in the YCV program. So the Youth Climate Voice program has been quite uh, an educational experience for me. Joining the program in 2022, I was curious and uh, open-minded as SRM was a new topic that I hadn't previously engaged with. So having an interest in emerging climate technology, I was super really excited to dive into the world of geoengineering techniques. And my previous research and advocacy work has focused on novel technology such as AI and IoT and the applications on climate adaptation and mitigation. So I totally relate the to how new technologies in climate space. Uh, can be sensitive and attentive to communities and the urgent need for their efficient governance. At the inception phase, I lacked the selection process uh, because it was really hands-on, uh, especially a task which involved developing a, a TikTok video submission. Uh, initially, this was quite uh, frustrating, but worthwhile as it allowed me to understand what the program journey will look like. And uh, during the onboarding process, I was glad that the C2G provided enough background information on the program and created enough room for me and other YCV colleagues to grasp the SRM uh, context and the program timelines and uh, relevant expectations. So it was also a great experience to understand uh, the program segments, including the learning pathway, as well as uh, its holistic uh, scientific governance and stakeholders blocks. So while the scientific block was quite complex, uh, I appreciate the fact that there were lots of C2G materials that provide the comprehensive narrative in the form of documented guest expert videos. And, uh, I leveraged them to reflect on um, specific uh, takes and outcomes. So uh, yeah, beyond the learning materials, I think the peer reflection work was also extremely helpful. As during the science learning block, I paired with Asma to reflect on our takes on our the learning materials. Yeah, and uh, the journey continuing the governance block, uh, which was a fascinating block, as it exposed me to the mechanisms needed to frame and develop the governance of SRM. And it was highly uh, comprehensive and thoughtful, as uh, the previous scientific block provided initial scientific evidence and frameworks that emphasized the need for governance mechanisms. So the last learning uh, block was more engaging and insightful as through several interviews, I get to understand researchers' activities as well as even um, the activists and civic society's diverse thoughts on uh, SRM governance. So it allowed me to consolidate all those insights and knowledge again in the science and the governance blocks and weighed them down with um, stakeholders' perspectives. I couldn't have asked for a better learning experience as combining science, governance, and stakeholders' perspective truly provide the unique learning experience. In the action engagement pathway of the program, I organized and read SRM youth briefing sessions, uh, especially those were sessions uh, that I ran with uh, other youth activists. So uh, my first uh, youth engagement activity was um, an event I ran with uh, young people in We Do Green Youth Network. So it was so exciting to put my SRM knowledge to use by assisting young people to grasp the SRM concept and chart a course for their involvement in SRM governance. I also conducted and read um, a showcase event on OSRM governance, uh, especially by tapping on uh, YCV's comic and animation video. Um, so one of our events I conducted was uh, a showcase event at Dukata's Youth Hub with 25 young people who were engaged in several 
uh, SRM discussions, uh, especially tapping on such uh, creative uh, methods in form of art. I also got an opportunity to uh, participate in several panel discussions and events in Rwanda, India, and Spain. And I arranged those events to shed light on SRM as an emerging climate technology. And it was exhilarating to create and share uh, conceptual thoughts uh, from a diverse pool of audience who eagerly provide their insights on the topic. So as the program uh, wraps up, I'm super grateful to C2G team for extending such a great opportunity to me and uh, the YCV's colleagues. I see myself in the next couple of years uh, widening my research experience on SRM, and I'm particularly interested in exploring SRM, the risking mechanism, and I plan to leverage my upcoming graduate coursework to do that. I'm also eager to contribute to SRM discussion, especially through several panels and conferences, which I'm anticipating to participate in upcoming years. And I believe it will provide me enough exposure to engage professionals across the world on the topic. Thank you.